Hi felters and welcome, how are you all? I hope you're okay and you've had a good month of felting. Welcome back if you've seen me before and welcome if you are new. So I got the vlog up yesterday which was on the 3rd so it was a little bit late um, and a massive thank you. Everybody is so encouraging, compassionate, supportive. The comments on there is just so nice so huge thank you to everybody who watches and who enjoys it and because sometimes I feel it's a little bit boring but you guys are really kind because I'm just honest about how my month goes and last month was technically a bit boring but so hopefully this month will be a, a little bit more felting. So I've tidied up my shelves a little bit um, just because it, I can't decorate right now we're waiting the in-laws are coming in a couple of weeks we need to finish their room that we were decorating then um, hopefully I can do mine before the end of the month. Um, but I've got my pictures out and I'm starting to work out everything I've got for the craft fair because um, I have enough big items. I'm absolutely fine with that. Those items will draw people in, not a problem. But I need the smaller items for people to actually buy when you work it all out. The average spend is between, it's normally about £18 for me, so between 15 and 20 so I need to have plenty of items around that price bracket. Um, uh, also, I went to make up my sheet kits and I didn't have enough wool. So everything is on the window ledge waiting because I'm halfway through. So it's, it's, it's just a little bit of a mess. World of Wool seemed to be taking the five to seven days again. Uh, before Christmas, they were like sending stuff out within two days. It was brilliant. So this is um, the Herdwick that I'm making. Looks a bit... Bit weird but we'll trust the process as I said and then I uh, I've started this for in between I just wanted something that would be done in a day so I started that last night and this is going to be sort of the smaller priced items I am using and I showed you it briefly last month the carded you can, if you can hear the dog pause sorry the carded Cheviot mega bat which I don't know if it's new it's one kilogram but I'm starting to use that love the wool absolutely love it so it's a tiny bit cheaper than buying sorry the Perindale bats um that's world of wool so if you do a lot of felting that's a good one so let's uh, get cracking and do doing some little bits and pieces so i completed this sheet and um yeah he's just done with a sort of typical yarn color really really simple straightforward so that's a definite sort of popular design hopefully for the craft fair is quite soon and then I did um, this one and so he is a bit weird I know but he's a, a sort of a massive Herdwick he's based off one of my daughter's um, jelly cats so yeah he's got great big horns I was just trying to use up sort of a load of wool and base wool and a core cool wool that I had so um, yeah he's a nice big size and he'll look uh, good on the stand he has got a sort of a big chunky face and massive horns but he's he's um i'm quite pleased with him so i did those two and um that's great and then i had a bit of a big day yesterday i'm really still quite tired at the moment from everything it was quite emotional i closed my patreon and i think it was a bit of a shock for people it was almost probably a shock for me and i can't believe i actually did it i have sort of been tempted occasionally over the past few months and then I to sort of close it and then I say no I can't do that but anyway something happened within Patreon itself and the systems and how it all works yesterday which really annoyed me it's happened before and I've sort of managed to get past it but oh, just yeah it sort of is an extra thing that I don't really need this this little bit of stress from Patreon's system and how it all operates and lets people join and stuff like that and so I made, I did make the decision. I closed it. So I put an announcement out. Everyone was so lovely and supportive. And they just know that because I'm, I'm just tired. I really am tired at the moment. Every time I go and look at a screen, my eyes feel tired. Everything's feeling quite tired. But I'm not ill or anything like that. Um. So, yeah, I closed Patreon. And um, I think it's the right thing to do <laughs> i feel bad letting people down but we've got another discord group that's been created by one of my lovely 
patrons who's not a patron anymore but um uh, vicky so she set that up so that's fantastic thank you vicky and we can we're going to keep in contact it's not like we're not going to keep in contact at all so that's fantastic from that side of things and hopefully my life will be in my head definitely a lot easier um so we'll see how it goes and i can just sort of concentrate on, on work things and i did say if it really comes to it you know a year down the line and i think i'm in a better place a better position to offer more because I always felt guilty for not offering enough on Patreon, especially because you think people are paying a certain amount each month. And, and what, what was I giving them? But anyway, um, so yeah, but it was a very emotional day, but I'm not going to dwell on it for too long because I've been through it all. But thank you so much for uh, my lovely patrons for being really understanding in this decision that I had to make. Um, I'm just going to adapt this guy because he was, <laughs> I did him as a belty Galloway. So he had two white bits here and there and belty Galloways don't have horns and I've had him for a long time and no one has purchased him. He's been at the shop at Unity and everything. So I'm going to make him into a, just a black Highland cow with horns where he will make far more sense. So, you know, just adapt what you have. Don't, you know, waste it. So yeah, I'll just change him into a nice little Highland cow. There we go. He is a little black Highland cow. So I've just tucked his tail in a bit there because it's just coming out. But yeah, much more obvious that he is one of my little cows. There we go. Hopefully he'll sell. Black um, Highland cows aren't as popular, but at least I didn't waste, waste the base or anything. So I finished this one last night, which is from M Fountain's Stab the Fluff Mini Highland Cow Kit. Um, really cute, because I'm going to look to do a Highland Cow at some point in the future in a kit. But a uh, new way to do the horns, which was really good. But yeah, really sweet little Highland Cow. There is on the shelf, which makes me realise how big I do my felts all the time. I, I think I'm... I know he's a mini Highland Cow, but... Yeah, he's tiny compared to any of my felts. Just created this little Highland cow and I'm just creating another one in uh, this lovely colour. Really, just get, you know, any colour you see, you can do a Highland cow. And it's snowing. I wouldn't say again because it hasn't snowed that much. But yeah, there's quite a lot of it. And it's going to be a bit blizzardy later, they said as well. So, well, do I have to do some needle felting? So I've got plenty of kits up there, which is good. I feel I'm starting to get together a few more smaller felts for my craft fair. So yesterday I got a podcast done, which was good. Got that up because I haven't done one for a long, well, at least a month up there. And I've got some more ready to record. I think I'll get another one done today. So that's really good. I'm just repurposing a Patreon video now to put on my main channel, which is quite a, a nice one. It's that sheep head. Um, and I think that's fair because obviously I've shut Patreon now so I can utilise. I haven't got that many videos, but I've got some. So it just gives me leeway with my channel. So if I want to get one up once a week, um, you know, it's quite good. I'll have a bit of time before I have to film the next one. I, you know, I've got a, a full list of videos. I know what I'm doing. It's just time, isn't it? Um, and then I feel like I'm managing to do enough items now for the craft fair. So already it's, I don't know, three days since I closed Patreon. I feel that it's bizarre mentally. I just feel I'm getting on top of things more, um, which is the whole point, which is why I had to do it in the end. But yeah, so um, I'll carry on with this cow and I'll show you some of this one. Sorry, I've just keep ending. I just keep making the felts and then going, oh, I forgot to video it. So I'll show you this one. I know you 
10th and I have been doing a load of shorts. Um, obviously the snow is still melting but it's nice and sunny. Uh, there's the Herdwick. I haven't quite finished the Herdwick yet. But yeah, so that's why I was showing you the nails because I did my nails because I'm trying to do shorts. I'm trying to do one a day for um, the next 30 days and I've done seven. So this is the overhead because if I have it on this, I have to do it right up there um, because I can't get far enough back and still get everything in shot. So I'm just using a little base sort of plasticky thing here, a nice cleanish mat, which is a nice color and just some sort of aesthetic things put around. But yeah, I've done seven in two days, so I'm trying to sort of get ahead of the game so there's no pressure. And I might use them as reels as well, but you will have seen them by now. So sorry if YouTube sent you loads of shorts. So the reason why I'm doing um, all of these shorts or trying to do one short a day for 30 days is people have had good results with it. So I want to give it a go. And also at the end of doing that 30... I might find it easier to do a short every now and again because I'm really, I am not creative uh, with shorts. It's really hard for me to find a good idea. So I'm trying to do some practical ones and trying to vary it quite a bit, but um, it's worth trying. And obviously shorts are now monetized. You really don't earn much at all, like literally <laughs> pence, but it increases the awareness of your channel. So um, I'm sitting here eating lunch. What's the date? It's the 15th. 15th, yes. And so I'm doing this video for this picture. It's um, a lovely frame, actually. I'm really pleased with it. I think it'll be good. So it's going to go in. The in-laws are coming to stay and we've redecorated the bedroom. And we've got a little gap on a wall. And I thought, oh God, I could felt something because I wanted it in the right colours and so I knew what I wanted the sort of landscape so we've ordered a big picture for the end of the bed and I'm doing this one so and I only decided the other day but uh, it's good because I'm making it into a video for my channel so that's really good this book Jana Matson's Landscapes in Will if you didn't see this video that is it's a really good book I mean there's loads of pictures in there that you can adapt and, and style out to your own um, but anyway, so just to say a couple of things that have happened, I had, um, it could be the same person, but, um, there were two Facebook groups set up in my name. One was felt, one was felt by Philippa cause I don't have a Facebook. Um, I, I don't, I don't want to do Facebook. I am on Facebook, um, as my name, Pippa Thorpe, and I'm always, I'm in lots of needle felting groups and I'm always sort of you know, commenting and, and suggesting and stuff like that. But I don't have a business Facebook group, but maybe I should now. Um, but yeah, so two Facebook groups went up. One was Felt by Philippa, exactly my name, my logo. And then there were two dodgy videos of women. I mean, not like overtly awful. Well, one was a woman and one was like a doll. Um, so that was like... Oh my goodness okay well it's obviously not me so most people know that that's fine but then the other channel that was set up was felt by Philippa and literally it said I am I think she said Pippa I am Pippa these are my studio vlogs and I'm assuming it's a she it could it might be a man and um, they would put about six or seven videos from my channel on there as little clips and it's like God that is literally impersonating me. I make toys, it said. I don't know if it said contact me, I'm not sure, but what are they thinking of doing? Is it people contact them and then they scam them of money? Because I know obviously all the scams that go on on like Instagram and YouTube, people say, oh, 
you know, call this number, blah, blah, blah. So I understand that, but just setting it up and not asking for anything. But anyway, so people had subscribed and it did have views. So that was more worrying. But anyway, we've got them both taken down. Amazingly, Facebook listened. So I think they're both taken down. But that's obviously going to start happening, isn't it? Maybe I should take my name and just... I don't want... See, Facebook, there's... Um, I don't want to answer more comments on, you know, I've got YouTube and Instagram and Etsy and... So I've got enough places that I'm answering comments. Anyway, yeah, so the other thing is my hair course. It's really great because I'm starting to see hairs appear that have been done from my course. And so far, it's really positive feedback. If anyone has any um, constructive feedback for me, do let me know. But it's lovely to see positive feedback. Um, and I'll put the pictures up. Um, hopefully, uh, I'm sure the people won't mind because uh, they sort of tagged me in it and everything. But it's seeing their own take on it as well, which is really, it's lovely. Really, really good. So really pleased. So I'm going to crack on with this, finish this over the next day and a half. In-laws are coming for the weekend. I've got enough shorts done to last me till um, next Wednesday. I am sort of putting them on Instagram as well because why wouldn't I? But the more you put on, the more you have to reply. Because I, I believe in replying to comments. I wouldn't. I do my best to although sometimes I don't think I see all of YouTube's comments so I really apologize if I've not replied to yours um, so that was the update for now so I'll crack on with this but the amount of walls I've got out to do this I just got everything and I've just put so many colors down on there so hopefully it comes out all right um, but yeah you would have seen the video by now been working on this picture especially after the previous picture I put out um, so I did a video on the one with the lighthouse in and um, uh, I was really pleased with it but I did write um, doing a 2d picture from a non-artistic person and so many people are really lovely and they say well you are artistic you can't say you're not but I think what the message I wanted to get across with that was like I cannot uh, draw, I can't draw perspective, I can't draw things correctly, but yet if you try and draw with the will, it's um, it's not that bad at all, it's really nice, and it's easier than you think is kind of the message I wanted to get across on that one. Um, so I hope that sort of came across. Now I've done this one, so I've got these poppies, and I've sewn the lines in the middle and I'm just trying to make the outline a bit better but I don't have a thick thread so I'm just gonna see how this goes but I was just gonna have a quick chat with you but just to, uh, to say I'm gonna start my room today I'm sort of not putting it off but I know how much work it's going to be I think I'm going the wrong way this is not a comfortable way to do a chain stitch I don't even know if it's showing that much I'll get the light on it and have a look but I, yeah, I don't have a thick, I wanted to do it in a thicker sort of embroidery thread, but I don't have a black. So I'm just going to go over it with this. Um, but yeah, I'm starting my room today, so you're going to get to see that. And it's going to take ages. I've just got to pack up everything, like all of my items really carefully. So that's what's going to take ages. And then actually the worst bit is going to be putting it all back because I want it all more organised. So I know where everything is, but yeah, we're going to get started with that. So, so that'll be exciting. She's going to take the dogs out. My husband's off for a couple of days, so that's really nice. And I'll carry on, get this finished, and then I'll start.
So here it is all done. It took about three or four days in the end. I did all the painting. My husband and I did the wallpaper together. And luckily it went up really well. And I had uh, the hanging thing ready for the cow's heads. And so I've put everything back in. I'm really happy with it. There is, like I say in a minute, loads of stuff still in the garage. But I had to do that just to make it feel good for when I go in there to do felting. I just don't want to have so much stuff in there. And obviously I've got my kits as well that I want to keep in there. I can't have them in the garage. But so far I've gone through all of these shelves and I'm really happy with the way I've done everything. Um, All the cardboard stuff there that's got all the stuff for my kits. These are my knickknacks. I didn't know where to put them. And then I put lavender in here because someone was asking because I think it's nice to go around um, the felts to keep any midges or any bugs off underneath my desk is free as well and just to show you I put lights on my plant stand so really pleased with it hi so it's the 25th so it's Saturday um, I'm back on this herdwick as I everything's sort of in its place now roughly it's not brilliant I've still got a lot of stuff in the garage to sort out but I will get there um so I got a message from Yarndale I didn't get in which is to be expected of course but for me to say yeah it's fine it's not you know I am really gutted I really wanted to go I thought you know my products would be perfect and then last year when I went they still they had quite a few spaces I don't know maybe they've got a limit on what they're allowed to take but you sort of think mm. but they said in their letter due to the number of number of applications because they lowered their cost they had so many applicants they can't fit everyone in but I think that's a polite way of saying they didn't think my products were suitable to be fair because I applied really early on so um, I would have been one of the first in and if they'd have liked my stuff they would have put me on the list but anyway it is what it is and it's business and sometimes you get good good times and then sometimes you get bad times just because you didn't get in it's not that bad really is it let's be honest but it's I'm just disappointed because I really wanted to go I will still go probably um as um a visitor because I just really enjoyed it and I've looked at other venues and I've looked at other ones and oh there's some you know some wool festivals that are pretty good but then it's because I haven't been to it like I went to that one I know it was good and I know how the, the stands would be anyway so I didn't get in so I'll apply next year fingers crossed I might get in next year uh, maybe I didn't submit enough pictures of the right things so again it's a, a learning curve for me too um, on a good note my daughter did get into her college so that's fantastic news for us really really good uh, I am still debating whether to do a workshop I have had on my website I have a page where people can send me a message if they want to do a workshop with me so I kind of get an idea of what people would be looking for and so having Yarndale sort of time or all that money as well open up I thought maybe I should do a workshop in September time so I'll have a look at that um, but I haven't found any other venues that I would be happy or confident to go and do right now uh, maybe I'll just build up my stock I'm going to try and still get into Home Fair Art Week, but that really is a first come, first serve. I mean, I'm, if I get into that, I'd be really, really pleased, really. But you can only put two items in anyway. So, yeah, so happy with my space and my room, working in it, really enjoying coming into it and seeing the colour. I really love the colour. I don't know how it comes out on the camera, but yeah, it's a really nice green. And then now I see everywhere, everyone's got green in their room. I think it's sort of the colour of the year at the moment. So uh, Mr Herdwick is done. I'm really pleased with his coat actually. Um, it was a couple of really good colours. So um, yeah, he's all done. 
I have made his face a little bit hairy. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. I'm not sure about it. But I just wanted to have the effect of the fur. But yeah, really pleased with everything else. Pleased with his horns and what have you. Um, he will be a course eventually. Um, it, I'm just practicing as I go and making it, you know, sort of checking that I know what I'm doing when I'm going to teach it. So yeah, he's another practice one. And so it's the, God, what is it, the 29th. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to make a sheep out of this. It is one long piece. I bought it at Yarndill. It's absolutely, I mean, it's gorgeous colours. I think you can see it there. And it is hand-dyed, hand-spun mohair, £18. So it's a really expensive way to make a sheep's coat. But it's gorgeous, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. So I'm going to do that over the next two days. And then next up, I'm going to make a Highland Cow out of this. But I don't think I'll get that done. But I'll crack on with this now. Here we are doing this sheep. It's a very basic sheep, but I uh, love this wool. And I was a bit paranoid I might run out, but I think I'll be absolutely fine. I might even get another smaller sheep out of it. So I'm just going to chat to you whilst I'm doing this. Um... Yeah, I just had someone contact me for a bulk order of 20 kits and could I post them to Ireland? Ugh. So that's a bit of a, I had to sort of work out postage. It looks really tricky. Anyone out there that's, you know, knows what to do, please do advise me. But I got it down. The cheapest way I've got it down is because it's going to be about 10 or 11 kilograms. So it's quite heavy is two boxes of 10 seems to be cheapest, bizarrely. Um because if the box is too big, there's a lot of companies that won't take it. Uh, so yeah, I'm just, I've just got back to them on prices. I don't do wholesale or anything. So um, they, they st you know, they'll have to pay quite a bit. And I have just checked, I had enough, I've got enough stuff, but that's all a bit of a mad panic. And my instinct, well, number one, I thought it was wholesale, but it, it's not, it's a company and I think they want them for their staff, probably for a staff afternoon or something. But yeah, my instinct was to sort of say no, because I know <laughs> it will cause me a bit of a a mad rush trying to get it all done. But I thought, no, you know, do it. I'm sure I could. I checked all my stock and I've got plenty of stuff, so I'm sure I could do it right. You go out of the way. That's better. Um, So, yeah, but, I, you know, I've just spent the past hour trying to price up, work out boxes, work out cheapest way of posting and how to you know how would I do it because on Squarespace on Etsy it's more expensive on Squarespace my kits are a pound cheaper but then I've got to do a special postage thing for her so yeah there's lots of little mini complications so I'm hoping for a bank transfer that would be the best um, and then I'll post it so I'll invoice them but again you know I've got invoices and I've done invoices before but it's all these little things isn't it about becoming a proper business ah, so but that's exciting i'll let you know um hopefully we'll have one more day out of this i want to do this sheep so i'm still cracking on with this i'm not making up i've got five four kits already done i won't start until i know it's a definite they might not want to go ahead who knows and i won't post anything until i get payment so but I'm sure all of you know that. Oh yeah, and the other thing I wanted to chat about was um, I saw someone post a Peter Rabbit bunny they'd done, which was stunning. But you can't sell a copyrighted item like Peter Rabbit on Etsy. Etsy might close your shop. So I was thinking, oh, shall I message them? But then I think, oh, that's going to offend them. Surely they know. <sighs> But yeah, I checked, I, I looked it up and, you know, the majority of things are copyrighted unless they are over 70 years old. So is Peter Ra Rabbit over seven? No, I'm sure they're still copyrighted by the book companies or whatever. But um, yeah, do be careful. Etsy will shut your shop down if you try and sell something that is copyrighted, like Disney, obviously. Disney chase after you. So, right, I'll carry on with this and let you know if that bulk order happens that'd be really exciting so we just walked the dogs in the rain it's still raining i think we've got wet every day this week it's just I, i'm looking forward summer is nearly coming at least it's warm 
Um, I finished this one, so she's. I'm really happy with her. I think the name of the lady that I got the wool from is Farm Craft. I will put the name up on the screen, but her wools are absolutely stunning, so I'm really looking forward to seeing her again. I might, might go to Wonder Wool Wales, is it? I think that is it. Um, so yeah, really, really pleased with it going to the craft fair with me. Uh, I haven't heard back from the lady about the um, bulk order yet, but it was only yesterday afternoon that I messaged her, so um, there's still plenty of time. So I'm making up 10 Highland Cow kits, some stuff sort of all over the floor. It's a little bit of a mess, but it will all be tidied up and I love it when the kits are all made and ready. So what have we got next month? I've got craft fair coming up. I'm going to go up to Scotland. So I'm going to try and visit the threshing barn on the way up, which is where I get those lovely wools from. Um, there's potential for me to go to Wonderwall, Wales. I'm not 100% sure yet, but that will be great. And I will do a separate video on that. I've got lots of little videos I want to do now. Everything's decorated. I can do a proper video. I didn't want to do one with paint colours on the wall behind me. So I'm going to do some of those. I'm also going to make a Highland cow out of that nice wool from Chromatic Yarns from Hannah. And I've got my um, heat press. It's arrived, but I need room for it in the garage and the table to put it on and then I can start practicing. And that'll be really exciting to be able to print on tote bags and, and do sort of just play around with it. That'd be really good. So thank you for being here and for watching and for making this channel possible because it is all down to you for watching. So thank you so much. Um, what are you felting at the moment? Let me know, put it in the comments below because I'm always on my sheep, cows, hares, horses, things like that. So what are you felting? Are you doing something completely different? Let me know. But thanks for being here, everybody. I hope you have a really good month of felting and we'll see you in about four weeks time. Take care. Bye.